This is your Flash Briefing, brought to you by your local York dealers. This morning, balloons are being placed outside of Nine Ultra Lounge in Casey Mo to honor the woman who was killed outside that nightclub Sunday. Kansas City Police say it highlights a dangerous trend. Gunmen willing to open fire no matter who's nearby. Police say a private security guard shot and killed the suspect, 29-year-old Jerron Swift. According to investigators, Swift grabbed a high-powered gun and started shooting at a crowd of people waiting in line to get into the club. KCTV5 News spoke with a security guard who witnessed the shooting. He wants to remain anonymous. One second, you know, everybody was just sitting there trying to get in the club. It, I believe it was probably a capacity in there, honestly. And then, next thing you know, boom, boom, boom. About five shots rang out. People start falling, scattering. KCTV5 asked Chief Rick Smith about preparing for the Super Bowl, including a possible parade. He told us city leaders have already spent a month planning to make sure they have the resources and staffing to keep everybody safe. Hey, if you're traveling to Miami for the big game, you'll be safe there, too. That is the message this morning from several law enforcement agencies working in Florida. Local departments have been working with the FBI there for months to secure every aspect of the game and all the events that go with it. Since 2010, obviously the threat levels and everything else have gone up. They include new things, cyber threats, drones, but all those things are being looked at. This is not Miami's first time hosting the Super Bowl. They've been through the process 11 times, most recently in 2010. Some bad news this morning for migraine sufferers. Pharmacies all around the country are out of the popular medication Excedrin. The makers of the drug have paused the production for, quote, inconsistencies in how they transfer and weight ingredients. The lack of the medication and no set date for production to resume has those who rely on it nervous for the future. We've been trying to get it in stock and we've been unable to get it. And when I look today, there's only a few of their entire line that's actually available. I've been suffering for about 10 years. I've gone to the doctors, I've had tried prescription meds, I've tried Botox, I've tried um, medical marijuana, and I still end up going back and taking Excedrin. Right now, Excedrin is telling its customers to talk to their pharmacists about finding the best alternative for that drug. We are in the deep freeze again to begin that Tuesday morning routine and a few flurries not out of the question for your morning drive as well. Temperatures for many of us in the single digits and the teens right now. As we're moving into this afternoon, we will see some improvement, making it a little bit closer to freezing by later this afternoon. So we'll take what we can get for today because tomorrow this next winter storm moves into Kansas City. Stay connected with us here. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing because KCTV5 News stands for you. Brought to you by your local York dealers. Heating and cooling products built in the Midwest.